Hi, everybody. I have been getting so many requests from students asking me how to add images to their projects that I think it's time that I give you a way to do this. I still want to give you this bit of advice. You should really have much of your app completed before you get to this part of adding images. A placeholder with text is good enough to make sure that your app is showing everything it's supposed to show. And then once you know that that's working, you can throw in the idea of an image. So with that ad advice in mind, uh, let's take a look at how you might go about this. Let me show you what I have uh, ready to go as I, as I do this. I have a directory of images that I have made myself. Uh, the reason I made these myself is that I know that I have permission to use these images. If you are not using images that you made yourself, you need to make sure that you're using Creative Commons licensed images that are allowed uh, to be used for this purpose. You can't just go to Google and grab a bunch of images. You want to make sure that you have permission to use the images in your project. This is part of being a responsible digital citizen. It's also the right thing to do. When you are a creator of content, a creator of art, you really should have the right to decide how that work is, is copied, how it's used and distributed. So we want to respect that. So I have made some pictures. It's not my best work. I did this very quickly. That one in particular is, is a bit off. That's supposed to be a lion. It's very much not. Sorry about that. Uh, but I have four robots in my list, and so I have four images. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add images to the project. There are a couple ways to do that. One way to do this is to hit the plus button and go to this little uh, image there, and you can see some of the images from the previous project. I'm going to go to Insert From, and I'm going to go to my Robot Images folder, and let's do Robonator 5000 because it's first in the list. So now that image is uh, it's in my project. I'm going to delete it here down at the bottom because I don't want to just add it randomly there. Um, but if I go to the project now, I can see that rn5000.png is in the list. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change my robot struct so that it gets the name of the image and stores the name of the image in the struct. So I'm going to add another variable. And I'm going to leave this as a question mark for uh, a reason. This is going to help to make sure that uh, we can test this one by one. Um, if, I, if I include the question mark, it means I can add an image to Robonator 5000, but not to the others, just to make sure that it's working. And so that's going to help with the testing. The next thing that we want to do is I'm going to put the comma in there. And I'm now going to add in the image name property. I'm going to go back. Uh, I can look here and see that this is called rn5000.png. I can take the whole file name and copy it, and I'm going to put it in quotes. So now this is stored within my test data. If I go to my app, let's now uh, write the code so that I can display the, uh, display the image in my code. And so let's say that I want to add it. Uh, let's say I want to add it in the row right here. Um, so that is robot cell. And so I have robot detail. Uh, what do I want to do here? That's going to be this right here. I'm going to add. Let's say I want to add the image to the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an H stack. Inside this H stack, now I'm going to paste some code. And so I'm pasting this from another project. What this is going to do is, if there is an image file, it's going to load the image based on the name. Uh, and so it's going to, if, if it can find the name, it's going to put an image element in there. And you want to make sure this code is exactly, uh, exactly the same. 
when you try this out. And then I'm gonna take this entire V stack and I'm gonna put it in the H stack. And what that means is we have an H stack, which is gonna put things side by side. We should have the image on this side and then our V stack, all of this info right next to it. So let's run the code. Let's disable results. Okay, I had to fix some stuff there. Not a big deal. I'm gonna go here, disable results, run the code. And you can see now that I have my image side by side in the cell. If I click on it, it still has the same info. And you can see that it only shows the image for uh, the robot that I added an image for. So now that I see that's working, I might actually change my mind. Maybe I don't want the image there. So I can actually remove it from this. And maybe I want to put it in the robot detail over here. And I can just put it in the VStack. So now when I click in here, you can see that image is now really, really nice. And it's showing up in the detail. And I might decide that that's, that's what I want. And that definitely is what I want. So. Uh, I'm good with that. And you'll see in these other ones, I don't have images, so it doesn't show the images. But since I have the structure there, it's ready to go. So how do we add the other images? I want to show you another way that we can actually go about this, uh, which is really handy. This is the playground file that I'm editing. I can do a two finger click and go to show package contents. And you'll see when I do that, I get a couple files. I can go to edits and then user resources. And you can see that this actually has all of those images in that directory. So the faster way, rather than adding the images one at a time, like I showed you before, you can go to the robot images that are left. I'm gonna select these three and I can just drag them into this directory. As you can see, there's Big Dog, there's 76209, and there's Leo. Now I need to go back to the robot.swift file, and I need to add the image names right here. All right, so that's looking good. Go back to our main file, and let's run the code. So now we can look at each one, and we can see it's showing those images really nicely above all of the information by the robot, so this is now working. So, I hope that this helps you understand how you can go, uh, how you can make progress on your project, adding images. Again, the last thing you should be doing uh, once everything else is set, but you have some really creative ideas and I'm excited to see uh, how you use this info to get to a final product. Good luck.